Even as a child, Evan was a future reporter, always curious. He wanted to know the story, uh, why we came to the United States, always interested. Ella and Mikhail left Russia during the Cold War. Growing up, the family spoke Russian at home, his mother giving Evan and his sister Russian names. To me, he's Vanya. Vanya. Yeah. His parents say he made friends everywhere, which helped him as a journalist. He was mostly interested in, in, in people and telling people's story. When Evan decided to move to Russia in 2017, they were excited for him, visiting him six years ago. We saw Russia through his eyes. We were with such a great guide to a new Russia that we didn't experience before. Everything changed when Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. Evan relocated to London, still often reporting in Russia. But last March, his mother got an unsettling call. It was Evan reporting in a remote Russian city. He said that he needs to finish the story and uh, he'll go back next week. Two days later, he was arrested, accused of espionage. It was numbing. It's hard to feel anything. It's hard to... Uh to think about anything. The White House calls the charges ridiculous. His parents are grateful for the administration's support, but say that's not enough. Evan is not here. It's been a year. He spent all four seasons there. He spent his birthday and all the holidays. And... In a courtroom visit, they spoke to him through a glass cage in Russian, with guards monitoring every word. But still, his family remains hopeful. We are keeping ourselves optimistic. That's the best way we can cope with it. No pessimism. Pessimism will kill all the hope. If you could talk to Vladimir Putin, what would you say? There's a, a, a human cost to this. We miss him so fiercely. We don't want him to have one more day of his freedom taken from him. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Philadelphia. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.